So welcome back to the channel. Jonica here back with another video. So today's the video. I'm going to be getting all into how to glow up for 2024. 2024 is your year to dominate. 2024 is the year to do it. So in this video, I'm going to be doing a annual slash monthly reset. This is how I reset my year. This is how I jump into the new year, fresh, focused, and ready to execute. Last year, I accomplished some amazing things. The year started out amazing. I think we all have our obstacles, but of course, I always choose to focus on the good things. I started out my YouTube channel, which was a lifelong dream of mine to have a channel, which is insane to me because I never wanted to be a content creator, but here I am. I served new clients in my business. I learned how to juice and practice better wellness habits. And I celebrated and made memories with my family. So with all that being said, let's reset and prep for year 2024. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to 2024. We have officially made it. Welcome, welcome back to the channel. For those that don't know me, I'm Jonica. So let's get into 2024 reset. So I have a bunch of things that I wanted to cover. I think when you're doing a annual reset, you're not just thinking about month to month, day to day basis. You're thinking about your whole year, how you can improve, what you can do better. The things that is going to take you to your next level in life, all the things, a lot of things come with a new year. And so we want to you know, get out of the door, running, dominate all the things, execute all the things. And so that we can be successful and that we can enter in the year with grace, with blessing, with abundance, with prosperity, but also with productivity, discipline and character. So I'm going to be covering a few things, I'll be covering my reflection, kind of like my reflection of 2023 and what happened that year what happened last year and what I was able to accomplish to be able to bring me into the next piece of my goals. But then also I wanna talk about like a life audit and share with you my life audit and how I kind of came to the conclusion of the goals that I now have. And I also wanna take some time to just reflect on the year and how things went for me. Do like my daily habits, routines, things I'm implementing, systems that I have now that are helping me to you know do better and have a better year. I think for me personally, this year is really a representation of New Year, New Me because I went into 2023 and I had a lot of lessons and I'm so grateful for those lessons. However, 2024, I want to actually grow something. I wanna actually build something. I wanna actually see the roots come up out of the ground. And for some of 2023, I did see that. I definitely did see like the fruit of my labor, but I do wanna see a lot more coming out of my life when it pertains to like, everything like i want to see my garden grow if that makes sense um i feel like i had a lot of things that i started in 2023 and i'm ready for those things to actually grow now you rapid growth in 2024 and so that is my goal for this year in every area of life i just want to grow i want to see the fruit and i have a lot of revelation from the things that took place in 2023 a lot of them about relationships and just honestly how to be steady and how to be steadfast in anything that you're doing and anything that you're pursuing. So I do want to talk about that. So 2023 reflections. So first and foremost, I only have a couple of reflections for this year, like a summary of everything that kind of took place this year. And, you know, honestly, just a sum total of the things that I've learned um, as far as revelation along the way. I might have three. Let's go with three. But anyways, my number one reflection is that I want to start in 2024 keeping God first. It's not that I didn't in 2023. It's just that I went through so many things. I had so many obstacles that my faith was like on a roller coaster at times. And it's not that I didn't believe in God. It's not that I stopped believing at all in him. I, I, I spoke to him. I prayed. I cried out. I did all the things in 2023 that I would normally do. However, I think the priority of putting him first and seeking him first and not seeking my emotions, not seeking 
um, any outside help or any outside counsel, which typically I don't. But I think even for me, that is a new revelation and understanding that I do need outside counsel. I do need to seek sometimes outside or professional help for the things that go on internally that you might not even understand that you might need to unpackage. And so for me, that was one of the things that I'm just like, okay, so God needs to come first so I can seek him first. Bible says in Matthew 6 and 33, that we should seek first the kingdom and all of his righteousness and rest shall be added unto you. And so for me, that is a huge scripture for this year. That is a huge scripture for me for this year, Matthew 6 and 33. I think a lot of people, when they think about seeking, they think about prayer and things like that. But for me, seeking is actually pursuing and doing and pursuing the call and pursuing the things that God has called me to do and seeking him first. Um, that way I'll have the wisdom that it takes to be able to do the purpose and do the calling that is placed on my life. Um, and so that is something that I reflected on for the year 2023. And I'm like, yeah, I did seek God. And a lot of things I did pursue God. I did talk to God. I prayed. I did these things. Right. But seeking God um, and prioritizing him first, like asking him first, seeking him first. That's something that I really want to take into 2024 with me and really prioritize that and really live in the strength that God provides as we do that. And so that's a huge thing for me. And I think number two would be definitely to choose my friendships wisely. I learned hardcore in 2023 that friendships are your bread and butter. Friendships are everything. Relationships are huge for me. Didn't realize really even how big they were for me until 2023 came and then just drama dropped in with it. And I was just like, you know, I don't do drama. I don't do pettiness. I don't do, you know, just immature, childish things that sometimes people are consistently doing. In 2024, I want to focus on having better, more equally yoked uh, friendships that are in the same vicinity as me that are going in the same direction as me and just people that get me I think when you don't have people that understand you um, there is a lot of conflict and a lot of explaining yourself and a lot of you know apologies and you're apologizing because you don't want to step on anybody's toes and different things of that nature and I'm just over that um, it's not that I don't want to bear with people it's not that I don't want to grow with people and do these things or do those things but i just feel like for the season of life that i'm in right now i don't have the capacity um having three kids being married having multiple businesses i don't have the capacity to nurture a brand new relationship or a relationship that is constantly me explaining myself and me trying to defend myself and my personality i, I don't know if y'all get me like i don't know if y'all understand what i'm saying but if you are struggling or if you're going through that type of situation i think that Maybe it's just time to set that to the side, you know, a high and bye text, a Merry Christmas text, a Happy Thanksgiving text, a Happy Birthday, you know, and then place that back to the side where it belongs, you know, who knows. But anyway, I just want to prioritize having more equally yoked friendships in 2024 and really pouring in and investing into the people that invest into me. Likewise, I think that is a huge thing. If you don't have people who pour into you the same way you pour, you will find yourself in a situation where you're maybe bitter, resentful, or just offended because you're like, I'm always the one doing A, B, and C, and I need somebody to do that for me so I can be replenished as well. So another huge thing that I plan on focusing on in 2024 is really facilitating, celebrating life and celebrating my accomplishments i think a lot of time i kind of stay in the house and kind of chill out but i really want to start implementing self-care things that i do every single day that make me feel good that is going to keep me going because i think i can work myself into the ground kind of a lot i think sometimes you just cooped up in the house all day it can really get you really feel like prison you know what i'm saying and i don't want to feel that so i think for me one of the things is self-care getting out of the house working remotely not just at and home. so the next thing i want to kind of talk to you guys about is like my daily habits like i'm getting into um really starting to implement daily habits that make up like my bigger long-term goals so one of the things that i really plan to really implement and try to stay with this year um i started in last year but i'm just gonna keep going honestly it's like my morning routine and my night routine like i'm pretty much a creature of habit i like doing the same thing every day um, my morning routine consists of like skincare, coffee, reading the Bible, prayer. And I like to like get all the work done that I need to get done for that day. I like to get it done early morning. That way for the rest of the day, I can kind of just add meetings, add time with the kids, add time with my husband, 
just different things that will like free up my time and my mental space because if I have to do it like throughout the day then I'm really gonna be thinking about it all day and I don't want to so um that is like my morning routine but the evening routine consists of more like relaxation and really just kind of chilling relaxing getting my mind ready for bed <laughs> and like doing more like low-key tasks like reading and reading a book that I'm working on or you know just things that require nothing from my mind and nothing from my emotions nothing I just don't want to do anything at nighttime so but these are some of the things that I'll be implementing in 2024. I wanna know all about what you guys will be implementing and what you guys are gonna start doing this year or what you have planned to continue this year. I'm super excited to hear from you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys in the next. Love you.